The Academy for Social Democracy at the Friedrich Ebert Stiftung outlines the history of social democracy. Congratulations. On the 23rd of May 2013, the SPD, the Social Democratic Party of Germany, celebrated its 150th birthday. But how did the history of social democracy start? It's the mid-19th century, the age of the Industrial Revolution. Among the workers, there is grinding poverty. 14-hour days, child labor, appalling living conditions, and no form of social protection are the norm. There's also political oppression by an authoritarian and undemocratic state. The revolution of 1848 ends in failure. The hope of political freedom and an improvement in living conditions are not fulfilled. But the political workers' movement holds fast to its basic principles of liberty, justice and solidarity. The pioneers of social democracy are convinced. Only in a democracy can social distress and dependency be overcome. Convinced that a change in society can only be achieved together, the working class begins to organize. On the 23rd of May 1863, the General German Workers' Association, the ADAV, is founded. The first social democratic party in Germany. Over the next 150 years, the Social Democrats had to endure a great deal. They were banned in the German Empire, persecuted and murdered under the National Socialists, and in 1946, in the Soviet zone, were forced to merge with the KPD, the German Communist Party. But the Social Democrats have always defended their ideals. This was particularly clear in 1933. The SPD voted against, in spite of the risk of death, and as the only party to do so, the so-called Enabling Act of the National Socialists. This law overruled the Weimar Constitution and made it easier for the National Socialists to unleash their terror. The chairman of the SPD at the time, Otto Wes, said that although their freedom and their lives might be taken away, nothing could take away their honor. The principles that the Social Democrats stood up for often seemed utopian, but frequently became a reality. For example, as early as 1875, the Social Democrats in their Gorta program called for universal suffrage. In 1919, all men and women over the age of 20 were finally allowed to vote. An eight-hour working day was called for in the Air Force program in 1891. 27 years later, this in fact became a reality for the first time. Or the right of women to work. As early as 1921, this was advocated by the SPD in their Görlitz program. From 1977, women finally no longer needed consent from their husbands to take up a profession. History has thus shown that it's worth holding on to utopian ideals and fighting for them. And there are still things to be done, such as achieving real equality between men and women. Or globalization with solidarity, or overcoming social divisions. Achieving social democracy takes work, but it's worth it. More information and offerings concerning the history of social democracy at www.fes-socialdemokratie.de and www.fes.de slash 150 Jahre. Everything from, at and with the Friedrich Ebert Stiftung. <laughs>